Anonymous Watch Guy here with a comparison video. Quick wrist check. We're in the Islander Calabro GMT today. Awesome watch. Love it. But today we have a smackdown between the Citizen Suyosa and the Tassot PRX Powermatic 80 for integrated sports watch dominance. Integrated bracelet sports watch dominance. Which is the best value for money? Sub $1,000. Uh, integrated bracelet sports watch on the market. Let's find out. I'm going to compare them in several different categories. First, I will once again review the overall kind of specs on each watch. You have your Citizen Suyosa here. He's coming at 475 US dollars. They're a 40 millimeter watch. They are 11.9 millimeters thick. You've got a push pull crown at the four o'clock position that gives you 50 meters water resistance. It does have a sapphire crystal. No anti-reflective treatment that I know of on there. It is running the Miyota Citizen Miyota 8210 automatic movement that does hack and hand wind, but does not one of their more premium Miyota movements. Uh, so that is your quick specs on the Citizen. Your Tassot PRX Powermatic 80. Of course, it's also a 40 millimeter watch. It is 11.2 millimeters thick. You do have a sign crown at the three o'clock position that is also push-pull, but you get 100 meters water resistance on this one. Of course, it is running the uh, Powermatic 80 movement, which is an ETA-based movement. It gives you 80 hours power reserve, uh, so a little bit of an advantage there. It does have a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective treatment as well, uh, but a beautiful watch. They are both beautiful watches. So the first category in uh, this comparison is wearability. And wearability is important when you've got an integrated bracelet sports watch, especially if perhaps you've got a little bit smaller wrist because integrated bracelet watches are going to wear maybe a little bit larger than what their dimensions might let on. So your case on both of these is a pretty similar dimension. You've got a 44.9 millimeter lug to lug on the Citizen and a 44.8 millimeter on the Tissot. Where the difference is the Citizen, the bracelet doesn't stick out quite as far. It falls down closer to the edge of the case. So your true measurement all the way out to the end of the bracelet is 49.4 millimeters on the Citizen or as opposed to that on the Tissot, it is 51.3 millimeters because this really sticks out here. So the Tissot is going to wear a little bit larger than the Citizen Suyosa. Both bracelets are excellent. We'll talk about that. Both bracelets wear very comfortably. Uh, so you've got a little bit thicker watch with the Citizen, but you've got a longer footprint on the Tassau PRX. So if you have a smaller wrist, that might be something to keep in mind. So on the wearability factor, I've got these, these rated on a three point scale, one being average, two above average, three excellent. So on the wearability scale, I've got the Citizen at two and a half points and the Tassau at two points, just because of that little bit longer footprint it is gonna wear a little bit larger, especially if you have a little bit of a smaller wrist. The next category is the dial. And on both of these watches, the dial is just really, really well executed. They both have just a beautiful, beautiful dial. Your Citizen has that gorgeous yellow sun ray finish. You can see a good shot of it there. It's really, really hard to capture on camera. I think the Tassot is a little bit easier to capture on camera but just a gorgeous dial, really nicely done. I definitely love the dial on the Citizen, but the Tassot, equally beautiful. You've got your waffle pattern on the Powermatic 80 version. Uh, this Glacier dial is just stunning. It's really stunning in person. Also got a nice sun ray finish on this one as well. I think both of these deserve three points for the dial uh, because they are equally gorgeous. And when you see them next to each other, uh, they both have uh, probably aspects that, you know, someone might prefer one over the other. 
but I think they are both absolutely beautiful watches and the dials are outstanding, again, especially for the price point on both of them. So they each get three points there. The next category is the movement. And I think this is really where the Tassot PRX is going to uh, you know, pull away from the Citizen a little bit. The Citizen has the 8210 Miyota movement, you know, roughly 40 hours power reserve. I believe it's 21 joules on this one. Uh, but that is not one of Citizen or Miyota's more premium movements. It would be nice to see something like a 9039 or a 9019, something like that in here. Uh, but it does hack and hand wind, uh, but it's just an average movement. Um, again, at the $475 price point, it's not inappropriate for the watch. But your Tissot with the Powermatic 80, you get your Swiss made movement. It is an ETA based caliber. You've got your Nivacron balance spring for additional anti magnetic uh, properties, and you've got your 80 hours power reserve. Uh, it's really hard to beat the Tissot uh, on the movement category. So as far as the movement goes, the Citizen gets one and a half points. The Tissot gets three points uh, because the, the Citizen movement is really, you know, just kind of an average movement where your, your, your Powermatic 80 is outstanding. The next category is the bracelet. And I think the bracelet on the, on the, uh, Citizen is really well done. You've got a nice president style bracelet. Really, really nicely done. Uh, no, it's not really, there's a little bit of play in it, but it's pretty tight. It wears very comfortably. It looks really good on wrist. And I think again, for a $475 watch, it's a nice bracelet. Where this bracelet falls short is the clasp. The clasp feels a little bit cheap. It's just a pressed clasp. It is signed with the Citizen logo. It is a dual deployant pusher. Uh, but the clasp feels less, much less impressive than the rest of the, bra the, rest of the bracelet. Uh, and I think the bracelet loses points uh, for that clasp. It does have some micro adjust, which is something that the PRX does not have. Uh, the PRX bracelet is very well done. Tremendous light play uh, on this bracelet, where it's very comfortably on wrist, looks great. Uh, both of these bracelets are sized with split pins. Uh, you do have a butterfly clasp on the, on the Tussaud though, so getting a really good size uh, might be an issue uh, where you've got a little more adjustability on the Citizen. You also get quick release on the Tissot that you don't have on the Citizen. So you, there is that as well. So you've got a little bit uh, of an advantage there as well. There are some other straps available for the Tissot as well. I don't believe that there are any for the Citizen currently, but that could be something that comes out later. Uh, but both are very well done. Uh, but I think the clasp uh, is where citizen falls a little bit behind in this category i think for the price point they're both excellent bracelets uh, two points for the citizen two and a half for the Tissot. next category is finishing and i think both of these watches are finished extremely well especially for the price point you got to keep in mind Tissot just raised the price on this watch by the way as well is now 725 us dollars so the Tissot is $250 more than the Citizen right now. Uh, so that is a bit of a significant price difference. But for a sub $500 watch, keeping in mind the price point of each watch, this is very nicely done. Nice high polish. You've got a really nice bevel on the side of the case. And the contrast and the finishing on the side of the case to that brush top of the lugs here is really well done. Looks very nice. Uh, you've got a good looking high polished fixed bezel around the top of the case. Again, some very nice brushing, very angular uh, case. I love the angular uh, nature of both watches. The bracelet also finished very well. A beautifully finished watch with the Citizen. Uh, the Tissot, I believe, has maybe the best finishing of any watch sub $1,000. 
Citizen just did a real, or Citizen Tassot just did a really good job with the finishing on this watch. Great brushing on the side of the case. That brushing is just really, really well done. Your high polished bevel, again, great contrast. You can see the difference in finishing on these watches. Again, this is a little bit more expensive watch, but the, the brush work and then the high polish contrast on the PRX, as well as the light play on the bracelet, extremely well done. Uh, a beautifully finished watch for the price point. Uh, the PRX wins this category with three points versus two and a half on the Citizen. Next up is the Crystal. Both are Sapphire Crystals. Uh, both give you great shots of the dial. The only difference is, as you can see on the Citizen here, there's no anti-reflective treatment. I'm also not a huge fan of Cyclopses. And then on your Tussaud, you can see a little bit less glare. Got some decent AR coating on that Sapphire Crystal. You see a little bit better clear shot, a little bit better legibility. Uh, at a glance uh, at certain angles. So the crystal edge goes to the PRX, two and a half points versus one and a half point for the Citizen. The next category is something that the, neither of these watches do really well, and that is loom. So let's go check out the loom on both watches. Here you can see the loom, the Citizen on the left, the PRX on the right, the Citizen just has larger uh, application of loom on the indices, makes it a little more legible. Uh, a decent application on both handsets. The Tassot handset might glow even a little brighter than the Citizen, but the Tassot just does not have much loom on the indices. Uh, again, these are both sports watches. They're not dive watches or anything like that. Loom isn't exactly what they do. Uh, but the Citizen wins this one with better loom than the Tassot. So the last category is overall value. Which one of these watches should you buy? Which one should you spend your hard-earned money on? And really that comes down to a personal preference. Uh, but both of these watches offer tremendous value for money. Uh, the Citizen's probably the best value for money watch. Sub $500 out there. To the Tassot, I've settled for a long time. The PRX, the Powermatic 80, is the, probably the best value for money. Sub one thousand watch, no, sub one thousand dollar watch out there. Both are awesome choices. Both are beautiful watches. Both are very nicely finished. Both have gorgeous dials. Uh, both have a lot of positive things going for them. With the recent increase in the price in the Powermatic 80, I think I give the overall value edge. Uh, just based upon what you get with the package to the Citizen. I gave the Citizen the three points in this category versus two and a half points for the Tassot. Uh, so the final score uh, for the Integrated Bracelet Sports Watch Shootout is 20 points for the Tassot, 18 for the Citizen. So a narrow win uh, for, the for the Tassot PRX Pyromatic 80 and really a lot of that uh, comes from the movement. Uh, it is a far superior movement in the PRX and the edge in the finishing. Again, you can see uh, up close that the finishing is superior on the PRX, but once again, it is now $250 more than the Citizen. So both awesome watches, both beautiful watches, I highly re recommend checking out both watches. Both of these will probably stay in the collection for a long time. I don't plan on selling either of these watches. Uh, let me know in the comments which one you prefer and why, or if you disagree with uh, any of my scoring uh, on the shootout. Uh, if you like the video, give me a like, maybe subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.